it seems that we are all on the same page on uh, this issue. The evidence that has come from a variety of organisations suggests that as many as 200,000 children are used to harvest the cotton in Uzbekistan, that parents and teachers are forced to comply or risk losing their jobs, that the police and the prosecution service pressurise families, families are threatened with the loss of electricity and loss of social security. There is no question that forced labour is taking, forced child labour is taking place in Uzbekistan. So to accept this proposal would not be in line with our principle of coherence between trade policy and human rights. It would not be in line with our commitments to the international rights of the child, and it would not be in line with our strong uh, line in tackling uh, corruption. As others have said, we need clear, independent monitoring from the ILO and clear evidence from the Uzbekistan authorities that serious efforts are being made to tackle forced child labour before there can be any question of this issue coming back on our agenda. And I agree with the previous speaker as well that if nothing is done, we also have to look at the GSP, situ GSP plus situation uh, for Uzbekistan. Simply to pass, as the Commissioner rightly acknowledges, simply to ratify two ILO conventions is not enough. They must be implemented. Thank you, President.